What is going on, everybody? Bobby Fatherman, Eric Shee Tabor, and I hope you're all having a good Wednesday. A little disappointing uh, night for me. It was a very good night. I'm not going to complain too much, but it was, you know, it was frustrating. It's always frustrating when you get the three percent guy right, and then and you got the the right stack and everything with the Yankees, but just literally zeros on everybody else. And I got the pitching. I, I nailed the pitching, um, but I almost, I, you know, I had a good chance to win the one K. Ended up, I think, like twelve or thirteen points out of first. But, uh, you know, still a very profitable night, a good night. Um, did okay on NBA as well on FanDuel. But, uh, you know, a little, always a little frustrating when you have a chance for the 200K and you don't quite get there. But that's the way this game goes. Uh, Sheets, how did you do? And then let's jump into tonight's slate. Yeah, so I don't know. If, I uh, got like 18th in the 250. That was about all I could, I could, I could drum up. Um, but I was, uh, I was, you know, just uh, to tout the site a little bit. I mean, I was... Um, I couldn't make the live stream last night because I was uh, on my way to the city to meet my daughter, but I did, I was able to crank up the, uh, the, uh, the, the live stream uh, on, actually I couldn't access it on YouTube for some reason, uh, but I was able to access it on my, on my Twitch account or something. Cause I was streaming there. That's yeah. Funny. I don't know. Maybe I just did something wrong, but um, so I was listening to you guys um, from the car while I was on my way in and, you know, uh, I don't know if you know. I don't know if Evan's uh, uh, industry tool can can pick pick this up pretty quickly, but I distinctly remember you giving out Anthony Rizzo like on in multiple answers to zero to questions about being a really really good low owned piece of the Yankees to play. So um, not that you're always going to get three home runs out of those things, but, uh, <laughs> but, but, but make no mistake. This is not uh, after the fact saying, Oh, a good thing. I had Rizzo. I mean, he, you know, if you were listening, you had a chance. <laughs> Everybody had a chance to have, him. that's for, that's for sure. Yep. Yep. And uh, you know, it's, it's always interesting when there's the, the, the lowest owned is the hottest hitter on the team and everything like, and it just, He's having a great season. He's leads the league at home run, like everything. And, and dude, that's that's one for what's his name? What's the I remember you know, just uh, to prove that I was listening. Uh, that one guy that you were not berating, but you were saying, oh, everybody, you every time you ask me about someone, it's about a guy who hit two hit two, 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 two good days in a row. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. Um, all right. Well, let's jump into tonight's slate. And um, why don't we pull up your screen? We'll go game by game here. Um, always a little for you know, it's 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 a nice to have a good night. It's not like I got like a bad beat or something, but it was just. It's always frustrating when you get those multiple at bats down the end and you just need anything at all. And anything at all is going to mean yeah, it's, it's not like you had one of, the, one of those torturous bases loaded game. No, you know, no, no, no. Bases loaded no. double plays. You know, those yeah, those, yeah. Well, I didn't, I didn't have any of that. I did have I did have a bases loaded strikeout, though, in that. Oh. Uh, which is, which is a, it, was, it was a little frustrating. But anyway, what we're on to the night. Um, hopefully we keep this, you know, winning in the right direction. I also almost I had a chance to win the ten dollar also. Um, ended up like 20th in that one, but I, I was one point in like third place in that one and like fifth in the other one. It was looking really good. Um, anyway, on to tonight. All right, Sheets, uh, Miami, Washington. Looks like we have a very low total. It looks like we have, I'm looking at the weather. You have a low total in a game that Eric Fetty is pitching. That's interesting. And, yeah, it's a little weird. Um, I, I'm just double checking the weather real quick because I mean, there must be some wind blowing in and some cold weather or something. Because Ah, like, probably just some bad hitting. I don't know. Oh uh, no, it's it's uh where is it? You have a good pitcher on one end and, and you have yeah, Miami like, hitting on yeah, the other 55 degrees blowing in 12 miles an hour. So there's there's what you got. Um yeah, so what are you doing with this one? You like any of these guys, these these Fetties or or Pablo Lopez's? I I'm not I'm not quite uh I'm not quite getting there. I just I I am I have I mean there there are a couple of pitchers that really kind of stand out today. So I'm not really getting to, to the Lopez's or Fetties. Um, but, uh, and let me see, let me see hitting wise as, as, as unprepared, as you said, you were at golf. Um, I'm, I'm sort of prepared. I'm, I, 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 I'm definitely not seeing any Miami or Washington on the hitting side right now, as I'm looking at my stack, my stack list, I'm going down, not even in the top, really not even in the top not six when you, consider, when you consider much of anything. So, yes. uh, this game is probably a cross off for me. Yeah, pretty much the same here. Pablo Lopez is the only guy I might revisit. Um, uh, I apologize. Uh, that, wait, wait, hold on. I apologize that after doing All right, picking it back up with Baltimore and the Yankees. Uh, Sheets, all right, well, this was a, a good one to me yesterday. I'm probably going to look at going back to it, but I think we're going to get some serious chalk. It is cold out your way these days. It's 50 degrees out there, huh? But you got the yeah, wind going out at 20 miles an hour? 
not that bad. I mean, it's, I mean, it's not cold. It's degrees. It's, but come on. We, we, we can't all be from California. I mean, yeah, I mean, for us, for us, that's like a freaking, everybody's freaking out. People are running and screaming in the streets. They don't know what the hell's going on if it's 50 degrees. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, hey, it's fine by me. <laughs> Um, all right. So what do you think about this game? I, 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 so, I, so you were saying major chalk. I, I presume on both sides of, of the, of, of the yeah, of Montgomery the and yeah, Montgomery and the Yankees stack, I think is going to be pretty popular. Although the Yankees aren't early projections don't have them as high as I would have thought. What do you think? What are you, what are your thoughts on this one? Well, first of all, I do have a uh, freaking Montgomery. One of those, one of the top three uh, overall, you know, values and stuff. Yep. Um, and the ownership is certainly reflecting that. Um, let me see what I have because I, I would rather not. Okay, I would rather not play a chalky Yankee stack, but I wouldn't mind playing a low owned Yankee stack, obviously. Yeah. Um, and I have the Yankees rated about you know in, in in that in that in that glut of of teams below Toronto, you know, uh, mm-hmm. as far as just as almost usual. <laughs> um, so I do have the Yankees certainly in play, and that's just on on raw numbers or whatever. When it comes to values, um, they're they're not bad actually. So they're certainly certainly in play. I don't, you know, I don't know if, if I would play them if they're the chalkiest on the slate. Um, but I don't th- I don't think they will be. Um, no, probably not. Uh, I don't know. Uh, so for me, I and Montgomery, Montgomery chalk is always kind of kind of rough. But he, he you know, what he performed nicely the uh, his last game, um, where he was chalk. I mean, not not great but i mean like jordan montgomery is not great he's, but he's he's good enough to yeah, uh right. to pay off 7500 against the baltimore i imagine so uh yeah montgomery yankees uh this is not the i don't think i would play baltimore as as, as leverage here um actually huh maybe Our i would. ownership is i mean it's gonna be crazy low i'm a little surprised at the total even to be honest i know the yankees have obviously a great bullpen but like they, they have a, th- a run total of three. It's How did Severino do yesterday? He was great until he wasn't. Oh, was, oh okay. <laughs> and then, then he really wasn't. Oh, is uh, that what happened? Would he give up some runs later or something? Yeah, he gave like four runs in the sixth, I think. Oh, well, that's, they get letting them go into the sixth, huh? That's right. yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know if he'd given up a hit yet, but until then, maybe one. <laughs> I don't know what they were supposed to do. Um, but yeah, it does seem like a little bit. I, I kind of like the, what you just said about the Baltimore side like maybe not as a stack but like you got trey mancini at 2.6 you've got santander at 3.1 you've got mount castle at three hayes at 2.8 even chirinos at 2.2 as a like i can get behind all of this and by the way that is the stack that won it last night for what it's worth is the combo stack between baltimore and the yankees because yeah i mean it was 12 to 8 was the final score um i could get behind a little bit of the baltimore some of the baltimore bats i kind of like that idea sheets We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I don't mind this. I mean, you get some great leverage off of Montgomery, who, like we said, is, you don't need to fully stack it. Just take a bat or two. Yeah. Um, well, you're the you're the man. You, well, at least you used to be the Mancini whisperer. So uh, there's, been, there's been nothing to whisper. The guy hasn't hit the ball in like the season. I don't think. I don't think he's. I think he's had one home run this year. And other than that, he's had like I don't know if he's had a double. Other than that, I think I don't think he's had he's had a couple singles probably this whole season. Um, but but maybe he's turning it on because he had a home run a couple days ago. All right. Uh, then we go, we go over what's, which game do you have next sheets? Cause I'm looking at a couple different Boston, Toronto. So I fiddle around with that game yesterday and I got, I, like I said, I got pretty lucky. Um, I got, I got a, a very timely Springer home run. I think I got a Bogarts home run maybe. And, uh, and I, and I got extra innings, but <laughs> still wasn't quite enough to, uh, to, uh, to get there. Um, uh, anyway, you don't have the better pitchers going in this, in this one you know, with, with Stripling and Waka. Right. Um, so I think both these teams are going to be firmly in play uh, from the hitting side. And that's about all I have to say. I mean, Austin and Toronto, both on the hitting side and, and neither pitcher. Yeah. I don't really have any interest in Boston. Um, I don't know. Okay. I mean, for one, I don't understand why. Be, I mean, Stripling is a good pitcher. Like he's not himself right yet. And he, he, you know, he's trying to work himself back and all that stuff. So you're facing sort of a bullpen game. Um, Boston has been awful um, from the plate. So I I don't have any problem like skipping them. I mean, it's, it's interesting to see a Boston with a 3.89 run total. Like that's crazy, huh? Really weird. Like against anybody who's even good starters are usually like four. last year. They're always four and a half plus. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm not interested initially in Boston. I don't mind like a one-off of like JD or something like that, but I do like Toronto. I think they're going to be too popular though for me, so I'll probably end up skipping them. I will point out again though, Zach Collins, who killed me last night, is bad, probably going to be batting fourth again and yep. uh, is certainly a re- legitimate option. But I do I do like Toronto. I just wish I could get behind the, the – the, I wish I could get some, some low ownership and I just don't see how to do it um, on this slate, so – yeah, yeah. The other guy who won, I think the ten dollar was had just the seven, eight, nine stack of, of Toronto, and none of those guys like hit for anything in general, and somehow that ended up winning it all. None, they didn't even like do anything incredible. It just was really weird. All right, uh, we'll move over to Atlanta and Chicago. Um, a team I actually am higher on than 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 these other ones. Uh, I think Atlanta is right there with uh, the Yankees for me, and I think Charlie Morton is the best pitching option that we've come up, we've talked about so far. So that's where I stand here. And what, what do you think? I have Charlie Morton is clearly the best play on this lane. I mean, yeah. uh, uh, I would, I would, I would fade Montgomery 700 times before I would fade more. Uh, that, that's my opinion. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, again, full disclaimer, we haven't spoken about this, any of this before we started. Uh, I have Atlanta basically clearly my favorite stack, um, given everything. Um, I, I have like, uh, I see them getting some ownership. Um, so that's all right. I mean, you don't have to play the higher own guys, I guess. Um, but I don't know, Dickerson, Duvall, Ozuna, even the am I right guy, the Travis guy, he think he's cheap. Like <laughs> he put him in there. Yeah. Um, but uh, and then there's always I an mean, Albies also, I mean, you know, get a good mixture of the of of, of the of the low owned and the, and, the, and the high owns. I I I like I like both sides of this. I like Morton and I like it. Yeah, I, I'm I'm with you 100. percent I I I think you might get low enough because their price is up. Like Olson and Albies maybe won't be crazy owned, but yeah, I think Atlanta is going to be really popular. Unfortunately, uh, the Yankees in Atlanta, my two favorites so far that we've talked about, are going to be pretty popular. All right, uh, let's talk about the Twins and Tigers. Um, I don't really have a lot of interest in – I'm just deciding if I want to do the Joe Ryan thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's basically all I – this game is a decision for me. So Ryan's on my list, but I don't know where I stand on it, to be honest with you. I'm going to wait until later. You do have wind blowing in. It is Detroit. They have one of the lowest run totals on the slate. There's a lot of reasons to, 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 to like Ryan, but I'm not overwhelmingly excited for some reason. Yeah, and I've seen him getting a lot of ownership to start off the slate. Um, uh, so I don't know. I mean, for me, the pitching. I mean, not. To, I don't know if you want to give a slate overview, but these these mid rangers, these these Jordan Montgomery and Mortons are, are really really strong. And then you know, do you want to go up to Otani or Ryan? You know, I, I guess those are the real decisions. You know, before you start getting into the into the other stuff. You know, um, and I I mean. I just I just think that Morton's going to score more fantasy points than Ryan, fourteen hundred less. Um, that's, that's where I am. Um, I think that like Ryan's a much better strikeout pitcher, uh, top yes. like level guy. Uh, you know, we might be talking about him in a couple of months as like Shane Bieber. You know, yeah, just out there just play there. But he's going to be owned too, so it's not like you're getting yeah. any. Um, yeah, I'm just deciding on that one. That's that's one for me. That, but you do get bad weather and you have a really bad Detroit offense. So I'll tell you what, you know, Pineda, Pineda, you know, Pineda's got tricks. Uh, if you want to try that at 6,800? Um, not really for me. Um, and I don't really think I'm getting to to much of the hitting over here. Um, yeah, well, you know what? I I could I I, I could I could play Minnesota. Uh, that that's definitely somewhere I could. So yeah, Minnesota I on the hitting side, and I'll tell you and, not to right now. <laughs> it's, I mean, well, I mean the weather changes. Well, it's like a, it's like two degrees. That's the whole thing. Right? Well, it's cold, but then the wind's blowing in from center field. Like I'm showing a suppression of about forty five percent for power. It would just be like, yeah, all right, maybe. I, I'm, I'm just giving you. The, I mean, I'm not saying that there's no way it can happen. I'm just telling you, this is when these things happen. I just I want to let the people know about what what I what I'm seeing right now. But again, it, it could change by game time. It's just really, really hard when you see that you know the, you know, the wind blowing in and it's for in the forties. It gets to be really, really hard to hit home runs. <laughs> right. But, but go ahead. Anyway, sorry, shoots. That was it. That was just my thoughts. Um, 
the Houston and the Rangers, I think maybe people are finally coming to terms with maybe Houston's lineup just isn't good um, because their run total certainly is, is implying that today. And I don't have like an overwhelming amount of respect for Glenn Otto, although I don't think he's like terrible. Um, but it's weird to see them with a 4.3 run total. Look, there's, it's going to be tempting a little bit to stack Houston at low ownership for me every time. Because, but just look at how they put their lineup out today because – these guys who they're batting at the top of the order, I don't know what the hell they're doing with their lineup every day. They've put these horrible lineups out there and they've got Kyle Tucker batting sixth and all this stuff. And Jeremy Pena has a couple of great days leading off. So then he gets moved to ninth. Like, I don't understand what the hell's happening with this Houston team, but the low ownership is going to intrigue me. And uh, to the same extent, I, I have a, you know, a tiny bit of interest in some of the bats, especially on FanDuel from the Rangers. But again, not, not overwhelmingly excited. Um, Seager on FanDuel is, is, is an awesome play. Um, anybody on the Texas side is an awesome play on FanDuel. But again, I, it's, Houston would just be a low ownership play for me because if they, if they do, in fact, end up low owned, I'm, I'm going to be all over it. If they, don't, if they don't, I'll have no interest. Yeah, I mean, that guy that got ownership yesterday might not today. Uh, I, think, I think Goodrum got played uh, yesterday. Um, and uh, guys had a hit all year. Um, but, but I will... Uh, but he's cheap, I guess. I don't always think he'll play today. What? I don't think he'll play today for what it's worth. Uh, but uh, hey, Tucker finally broke out. It was yesterday or the day before. Um, finally hit a home run. Yeah. Um, it was uh, yesterday, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you could throw these guys in, I guess. Um, and like you said, if you get Houston low owned, I mean, it's kind of hard to to say no, right? So and I, do, I do have Houston as, as kind of a top five overall value. That, that, that does anything for you. Um, yeah, I don't know. It depends on the, it's hard to know what the value is because we literally don't know, have any idea who's playing. Right. I, I, I have Goodrum in the, in the lineup. You know what I mean? <laughs> so. Yeah, I would, I would be really, I'd be very surprised if Goodrum was in the lineup, not batting eighth or ninth. Um, okay. Because they're getting a lot of heat for it for good reason. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Sheets. Like, have you seen these lineups they're putting out there? Like, it makes no sense to me at all. I don't know. Right. It's just, uh, but I, I'd imagine Brantley will be back in the lineup today. I'd imagine you'd see Diaz back in the lineup and Pena in the lineup. And Tucker, they're supposedly leading off. There must have been some talk about him changing spots because I've got him. I've seen him at multiple places projected to lead off after not having lead off all season. Anyway, we'll see about that one later. But I, I do think that is one one different stack, I guess, that I'm considering. But it feels pretty ugly. Maybe it's because they just burned me and cost me the 200k last night. But whatever. Um, all right, uh, Cleveland and LA uh, Angels. Sheets, what are you what are you doing here? All right, so. Otani's has his, his last two starts fantasy points. He has a 40 and a one. So that, Very <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to Otani middle. You know what I mean? Yeah, like this exactly. Is, this is, this is what it is. Um, and it's just so awesome, you know, because against Texas is when he had the one and against Houston is when he had the 40. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I love yeah, it. Yeah. Um, so he's, he's volatile. He, he can, he could put up a 40, he can put up a one. And makes him a GPP play. It just, it just it does, and it also makes him a GPP fade, uh, depending on where the ownership kind of comes on in here. Uh, I I have him as being owned right now. I mean, like thirty percent or whatever. So I'm um, I'm probably gonna uh, stay away. I don't know. But what are you gonna play? Uh, like you said, I mean, I've, I have these four dudes. You know, I got Montgomery, Morton, Otani, and Ryan. Right. All is kind of like my top plays, all of them getting owned by the whole universe, uh, I guess. And then the, the, the hitting I like is kind of <laughs> chalky, too. I got to kind of figure this out. But yeah, sure. Otani, fine. Um, for all the reasons I just said. And please, uh, I don't really like um, today as a play. And then on the hitting side, I'm just not quite getting down to uh Cleveland of the Angels, but I will say that I mean Cleveland's just like a perfect pivot. I mean, like that's I, I would I would definitely do that. Like you start yeah. with like Reyes and and, what's it, and, and and Ramirez, and then you know you just hope you get the bad Otani, and uh, you can they can score ten runs <laughs> against yeah. Otani, you know, what they, or whatever they, five they against Otani, then five against the rest. Certainly could. Yeah, they, they, that's what they, I mean. That's what Cleveland's all about. They score one run or they score ten runs, <laughs> that's, and Otani and, and Otani scores forty fantasy points or he scores one. You know, exactly. so it's like a perfect combination here. Yeah, I kind of agree with you that, 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 that taking Cleveland is an interesting thing to do on the smaller slate. So I, I, I definitely will put Cleveland in my, in my list of teams to consider. Um, 
And I think the Angels would uh, like the thing that sucks is it always sucks not to be able to hit Otani, but because of that, no one really stacks them. And I think you could take some shots against Plezak here. It's you know reasonable weather, what, right. going out. You've got some good bats in there, and with the you maybe do a Taylor Ward Trout, you know Rendon Marsh kind of a thing or something like that. They're kind of expensive, so people won't play them. Uh, I think it's some interest in this in this hitting side because it is hard to be different. You know, I I like Atlanta, Toronto, and New York, but I am not really getting different with any of those things. So maybe I'd have to include a, a mini Baltimore stack, a mini Cleveland, or a mini Angels stack. I think all of those are very viable and. I like Otani, but my general rule is that the more he's owned, the, the more I just try to fade him. Um, well, let's let's. I want to talk about that for a second because they were talking about that with with guys like Robbie Ray, like Patrick Corbin, and all this stuff. So, if 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 if, if my if my son well, Patrick, listens, those are very different. I mean, Robbie Patrick Corbin is one of the worst pitchers in the major leagues. Well, my, my point, the, what I was getting at is this: is is if I mention what you just said to my son, he would say. Well, isn't that the same with every player? Like the more they're owned, the less you want to play them. Yes. <laughs> so, but why do you single out, you know, Otani? Because he's, high, he's higher variance. He's not going to have okay. a. If he has an, a median result, it's going to there. There isn't one for him. You know what I mean? Like, sure, he could, right. he could end up with his eighteen to twenty fantasy points or something like that. But realistically, I don't know. I, I, I personally like. I would always take the higher variance players less. I mean, it's pretty straightforward, don't you think, Sheets? I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I agree. Okay, um, I was trying. I was trying to lure out some educational thing for you to jump on. No, why? Why Otani was a better example of that than than like your normal like uh, like uh, like why why he's different than say a Jordan Montgomery. Uh, uh, as far as I, that. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say he's all that different. He's just a little more expensive than Jordan Montgomery. But Jordan Montgomery tends not to get totally like beaten beaten around. Otani has some outings where he just can't get out of the first inning. Because you can't find the strike zone, and and guys like who tend to be a little bit more like that are ones that would try and pick on, uh, or try and try and play less when they're popular. So I, I'm not saying I won't have any Otani tonight, but I definitely would rate him a little lower than the other chalkier guys. Um, although Morton's been hit a couple times this year, one was the Dodgers. So you got can't really blame him, but uh, Morton is usually a guy who just doesn't really get roughed up too much, whereas Otani is a guy who gets roughed up, or or pitches an absolute gem. <laughs> um, all right, let's talk about San Francisco and Oakland Sheets. So whenever they have, whenever whenever they have this game, you know, in this series, I just, I again, you know, you were you're 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 definitely old enough to remember. Um, all I think about is that freaking earthquake uh, World Series. Yeah, uh, that must have been just so sick. Like living in California, especially, you know, yeah. I mean, even though you didn't live in that part of the, you know that part of the country. Well, our family was like going to the game that day, so yeah, I, I was. And that was my 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 first year of law school. Um, and I, you know, I had it on or whatever, and it was it was just totally freaking surreal, um, just to watch. I mean, the whole and then they didn't, they were, they didn't play again for like a week or something like that, right? I don't know, I, at least a couple of days before they came back, and then Oakland swept them. Um, in any case, uh, that's a it's a lot to talk about, but that's about all I can say about this game because I really have no interest in it from a fantasy perspective. I, I really don't like any. Obviously, the 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 San Francisco side they're going to throw like a hundred pitchers, right? I guess. Yeah. Um, well, you know, and, and, and I'm not particularly interested in playing Paul Blackburn for an 8,800. Um, so I, I'm not I, I particularly know. interested in playing hitting in San Francisco, unless you really tell me it's, it's the time yeah, to do I it. I have a little bit of interest in, in Eunice, if I can get confirmation that he's going to be the long guy. Oh, um, really? That's that's usually not your, your style to play the long review. Well, I'm trying to find something different to do on this slate. That's true. And to get an unknown guy who, who certainly, I mean, look, his last start, he went five innings. Um, okay. And the A's, I think, are one of the worst, if not the worst, offense in baseball. Like, seems like someplace, you know, they have a, a, or a free run total. It's 50 to 4 degrees in San Francisco. We all know the wind blowing doesn't really matter. I, I just think there's like an opportunity there for Eunice to maybe a, maybe a get different play. Um, if you want to maybe, and it also allow you to change your builds and build up some, you know, uh, spend up in some spots. So I'm just considering it. It's still early in the day. It's always hard. Um, but I, 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 you know, I, I was considering for a minute some of the San Francisco stack maybe, but I don't think I'm going to do it. I think what I'm going to do is, is, is my primary stacks are still feeling like the Yankees in Atlanta to me, but I'm definitely going to mix in a Baltimore mini and a, a Cleveland mini and a, LA Angels mini as my side pieces um, tonight. So my, my, as far as stacks go, if I was going to invent something kind of like low owned, 
uh, it would be probably a Boston, a Houston, or someone I'm not allowed to play, which is Minnesota. Um, well, I didn't say you could. Or, or, or you know what? Go ahead. Looking at this, looking at this, I think I, I think I might end up talking myself into this Baltimore thing a little bit. So, I like that idea. I mean, uh, uh, just even as a mini stack or something, but it may be a full stack too. But I, I don't want to say you can't play Minnesota. I shouldn't have said it. Been so so adamant on that one when I. When I see the other options that that aren't owned in front of me, there's really nothing all that exciting. Um, so I, I and by the way, you could, you could always play Byron Buxton. The guy could, it could be zero degrees outside; he could still go out there and hit two home runs. Yeah, um, he's just a look at his. You want to talk about a guy who's got a crazy? It's all it's zero zero twenty twenty eight twenty one zero zero thirty three thirty six. His fantasy. I don't know. I don't notice the zeros. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah. When, how does he ever get a zero? I know. I'm used to just the thirties. Um, but yeah, may, maybe you're right about Minnesota. I, I think that, and also you get the, the, the their former pitcher against them. Shoot. Jordan Montgomery was on Baltimore. No, Michael Pineda pitched for Minnesota. Oh, I keep forgetting. Okay. Um, that's yeah. You know what? I'm gonna have to double check the weather a little bit further because I could get into after all that sheets. Now I'm gonna be talking to I'm talking myself into some Minnesota. <laughs> but um, it's it's tough a little bit earlier today for me. For, I, I'm not having I'm not finding like a clear path of ways to get different. It's mostly going to have to be different, different variations of the stacks that I like um, with this, with the side, you know, stacks that we talked about. Um, pitching wise, I have Montgomery, Morton, Ryan, and Otani as the, the chalk, but you know, reasonably good chalk. And I would put Morton at the top of that list. Uh, I would also include if you're playing a bunch of lineups, Pablo Lopez and Jacob Junis. Um, hey, do you, I have a question? Just no way do you have an answer to this question. Um, so I, I, I this, I've done this before. I say, hey, what's this? And you're like, I real, how I have no idea, right? What so it, I, I, I don't want to put you on the spot. No, put me on the spot. Go ahead, give it a shot. What's, what's the Miami Marlins record? I would bet that they're probably a little under 500. Okay. I don't know. What, what made you think that? Are you gonna, are you gonna make it? A well, I was gonna take a shot at them to like to do something in the playoffs or something like that. You really, I don't know what your love is for them. I mean, look, you know. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you, actually. What is it? Um, I was watching the, um, whatchamacallit, and I'm not just a, a, a Madden League guy, or, but um, they, 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 I was watching one of the, the Miami game, like, a couple, maybe a couple of weeks ago, and they had the uh, the GM on. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a super sharp uh, woman who, uh, I don't know if it's the first G, uh, woman GM, whatever it is. Very well, could be. But uh, she, I mean, she was talking about the stuff and she was just talking about the team and, and, and I was just kind of in, I was just kind of uh, enthralled by the whole thing. So uh, I, I would want to support her um, by throwing a few dollars on, on what I, what I, what I liked hearing. Uh, so that's, that's my, uh, that's my logic. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, uh, interesting. I, I didn't so, know about that. Yeah, yeah. I'll take a look. Seemed, I'll, I'll take a look. She seems pretty sharp. She seems pretty sharp. Yeah, and cool. uh, maybe we'll make up for the fact that Don Madeline can't really manage. Hey, he's, you know what? It's it's fine that he's out there. He seems like a nice, I, I think he's the kind of guy everybody likes to play for anyway. Um, all right, guys. Well, good luck. We will see you guys. I'll, I'll see you at six Eastern. Sheets, you going to be around tonight? I will probably not be around. Tonight. Okay, so I'll be live at six Eastern. We'll call, we'll cover a, a little uh, baseball and uh, NBA for a smaller slate. Sorry, we sort of fumbled through some of this stuff, guys, but uh, good luck to everybody, and I'll see you at 6 Eastern.